journey, not by car or plane, but by spaceship, rocketing through the cosmos to explore the mysteries of the universe. Our destination, the solar system, our cosmic neighbourhood. Buckle up, we're diving deep into the solar system secrets right now. Our first stop is the smallest planet in our solar system, Mercury. This tiny celestial body is a world of extremes. Without a substantial atmosphere to trap heat, Mercury's surface experiences wild temperature swings from scorching hot during the day to freezing cold at night. But here's a fun twist. A day on Mercury from sunrise to sunrise is actually longer than one Earth year. That's right. Mercury zips around the sun in just 88 Earth days, but a full rotation on its axis takes a whopping 59 Earth days. And if you're looking for moons, you won't find any here. Mercury is a lone ranger without a single moon to keep it company. Despite Mercury being closer to the sun, it's not as hot as Venus. Thanks to Venus's thick atmosphere filled with greenhouse gases. This insulating blanket traps the sun's heat, making Venus the hottest planet in our solar system and talk about a long day. If you lived on Venus, you'd celebrate your birthday before the day even ended. Because a day on Venus is longer than one Earth year. Now Venus might sound quite different, but it's often called Earth's sister planet because of its similar size and mass. But don't let that fool you, it's a fiery twin with a brilliant glow. Venus outshines every other planet and is the brightest object in our sky after the sun and moon. Floating away from the glow of Venus, Earth beckons with familiar sights. Here we find our cherished home Earth, the only known planet to support life. A planet unlike any other, where 70% of its surface is covered in water, giving Earth its distinctive blue appearance when viewed from space. This vast expanse of water is teeming with life, from the smallest microorganisms to the largest whales. It's not just the water that makes us special. Our planet also has a protective atmosphere, like a giant shield in the sky. This shield filters out most of the sun's harmful radiation, making it possible for life to thrive. And did you know that Earth is the densest planet in the solar system? That's right. Despite being smaller than some planets, Earth has more matter packed into its volume. This density combined with water and a protective atmosphere creates the perfect conditions for life from our cherished home. Famous for its rusty complexion, Mars earns its fiery nickname from the Roman god of war, due to the iron oxide or rust that dusts its surface. This iron oxide gives Mars its distinctive red hue, like an interstellar beacon in our night sky. But Mars isn't just a pretty face, it's also home to two small moons, Phobos and Demius, who were named after the Greek words for fear, Phobos, and terror, Demius, the attendants or sons of the Greek counterpart of Mars, Ares. While Mars may look barren and dry now, Evidence suggests that water once flowed freely across its surface, carving out valleys and creating potential habitats for ancient life. Today, the Martian atmosphere is about a hundred times thinner than Earth's. This thin atmosphere allows more sunlight to reach the surface, but it's not thick enough to retain much heat, making Mars a pretty chilly place. Now we arrive at the largest planet in our solar system, the magnificent Jupiter. Its sheer size is a spectacle as it is more than twice as massive as all the other planets combined. Now imagine a storm so large it could swallow the Earth whole. That's Jupiter's great red spot for you. A whirlwind of gas and cloud that's been raging on for centuries. But Jupiter isn't just a one-trick pony. It's a cosmic shepherd with a flock of at least 79 moons, including the largest moon in the solar system, Ganymede. This gas giant is also a bit of a speed demon. Despite its enormous size, Jupiter spins on its axis faster than any other planet, completing a day in just under 10 hours. So as we marveled at Jupiter's swirling storms and moon-filled skies, we're reminded of the grandeur and complexity of our solar system. Saturn is a spectacle that's hard to ignore. Best known for its stunning ring system that can be seen from even Earth, these rings are not solid. They're made up of billions of ice particles, each traveling at its own pace and reflecting sunlight to create that iconic shimmer. Saturn, despite its size, is the least dense planet in our solar system. Believe it or not, if you could find a bathtub big enough, Saturn would float. That's because it's mostly made up of hydrogen and helium, the same elements that make up most of the universe. 
Its moon, Titan, is another marvel. It's the only moon in the solar system known to have its own atmosphere, which is denser than Earth. Moving past the shimmer of Saturn, now we spiral down to the icy blue of Uranus. This intriguing planet is a bit of an odd ball, rotating on its side like a cosmic bowling ball. Imagine living in a world where the North Pole faces the Sun for half the year and then the South Pole for the other half. Uranus is known as the Ice Giant. But don't be fooled by its frosty name. Its core isn't made of ice cubes, but rather a chilly mix of water, ammonia, and methane. Finally, we arrive at the farthest planet from the sun, the intriguing Neptune. This deep blue giant is known for its intense winds, the fastest in the solar system, whipping around the planet at speeds of over a thousand miles per hour. Imagine if Earth had winds that fast. We'd be flying around like leaves. Neptune also boasts a mysterious storm known as the Great Dark Spot, similar to Jupiter's Great Red Spot, but it appears and disappears mysteriously. This storm is about the size of Earth itself, swirling in the planet's upper atmosphere. Even though Neptune is the farthest planet from the Sun, it's not lonely out there. It's accompanied by 14 known moons, with Triton being the largest and the only one that orbits the planet in the opposite direction of Neptune's rotation. As we venture beyond Neptune, we reach the edge of our solar system to the dwarf planet Pluto. Once considered the ninth planet in our solar system, Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006 by the International Astronomical Union. It failed the planet test, as although it has a round shape and orbits the sun, it hasn't achieved gravitational dominance around its orbit. It resides and shares its orbital neighbourhood with other bodies in the Kuiper Belt, a region teeming with small icy objects. But don't let its size fool you. Despite being a dwarf planet, Pluto has five known moons, with Charon being the largest. It's almost half the size of Pluto itself, making it the largest known moon relative to its planet in our solar system. One of the most fascinating features of Pluto is the heart-shaped glacier. This heart is about the size of Texas and Oklahoma combined, taking 248 Earth years to complete one orbit around the sun. A year on Pluto is a very long wait. As we bid farewell to Pluto and the rest of our cosmic neighbourhood, we're left with a sense of awe and wonder. Like and subscribe. We'll see you in the next video. Bye!